Hi, yeah. Um, I had my pre-op today for the upcoming surgery, so um, just wanted to record how that went. Um, so we met with the pre-assessment nurse who just does like your weight, your height, all of that information. Um, we met with a pain management nurse and we met with a junior doctor about the surgery. So, I mean, it wasn't as in-depth, I feel, as the last pre-op. Um, I don't know, it didn't take as long, I didn't meet with as many people because I think last time I met with the surgeon himself and the anaesthetist as well so I don't know, I feel like maybe this one wasn't as in-depth um, but I think I kind of understand what's going to happen, what's involved um, so yeah, I guess it was fine um, I asked questions like um, do I need to prepare like for recovering at home, do I need to buy anything, is there anything to make me more comfortable at home um, but they said there isn't anything specific we tell patients to get with this surgery but anything I've heard recommended I might you know want to get so I mean I've heard uh, getting like circle cushions or like u-shaped cushions will be good because obviously it's going to be in an awkward place and be uncomfortable so I think I might get like a u-shaped cushion <clears throat> um I've also heard something about salt baths is it something like that so I need to do some more uh research on that to figure out if I want to get anything else um, my main thing that I asked about today and uh, made them very aware that I'm concerned about is pain management because of the surgery last time, my experience last time um, and it was interesting because I found out um, that the, I can't remember what it's called, the morphine thing that you administer yourself I've always thought you wake up with that already in and that's what they didn't do but this time the pain management nurse said, no, sorry, that's wrong. Like, you wake up, you shouldn't have it in, and then they'll give it you when they figure out how much pain you're in. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm not, I'm not really sure how I feel because, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm totally dreading waking up and being in that much pain again and not being able to get it under control. I just, that's what I'm nervous about. And I don't massively feel better after the pre-op today about that not happening again. But I am confident they're aware of my concerns now because I brought it up with each person and was like, this is what I'm bothered about. Like, so I think it's probably going to be written everywhere on my notes now. Like, she doesn't want to be in pain. So, I don't know. Hopefully... It'll be fine, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I've just got to get through it anyway, so whatever, let's just do it. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was I had an interview yesterday and I got the job and I just wanted to record to myself that how rubbish things seem at the moment. Um, I still went for an interview and I still got it and that just proves that I can do anything <laughs> really I just that was kind of a, a good feeling that with everything that's going on with my health and feeling like rubbish and feeling really tired and just falling asleep every time I get home um, everything that's going on with like other members of the family n n being unwell um, everything that's happening with like today is my pre-op and it was like the day before I had an interview um, so that was all in on my mind as well and um, <clears throat> I've got some great news as well that my landlord is selling my house so uh, that's all been on my mind so it's literally been the worst time to have an interview and I still got it so I just wanted to remind future Kate that you're awesome, <laughs> well done um, and when I was applying for that job it asks you obviously lots of questions about yourself and one of the questions at the very end is do you consider yourself disabled or not and it's an interesting question um, and I know it's discussed quite a lot and I've seen um, you know like posters and things or things posted on Facebook 
um, where it's like a, um, something to do with like a person who's sitting in a wheelchair and a person who's standing up and about like you can't always see a disability um, like and they're posted on uh, IBD pages so I guess it's referring to the IBD as a disability perhaps um, <clears throat> and I know it's always a topic people don't agree on um, I don't know how I feel uh, because I'm, I mean I like to think that I am as able as anyone else to do anything um, but I know at the same time that I'm not starting with a full glass so if you think of like a normal person with a full glass um, I'm kind of starting with a half glass because I know that I get exhausted really quickly and I know that if I don't do certain things I will get poorly or if I do do certain things I'll get poorly so if a normal person with a full glass gets a cold it's a oh I've got a cold but if I'm starting down here and oh I get a cold I'm like already at a disadvantage I guess um so <clears throat> I don't know I kind of felt like should I declare myself as disabled because I don't want it to be recorded on my <clears throat> records at work or wherever that I have lots of time off sick just sick leave and like it looks like I'm just off a lot whereas it's all related to a lifelong chronic disease that I have that's not my fault and I've gone through surgery and I have an appliance now that I have to maintain and I sometimes have to change in an emergency and is that a disability? I don't know but I feel like for work purposes I might kind of ask if I can have my sick leave that is related to my leostomy or my ulcerative colitis recorded as disability related leave rather than just sick leave so it is noted that it's not just regular sick leave it is related to a long standing condition um, <clears throat> so I think that's what I might do and when I asked like um, the equalities team at work they advised me to do that as well they said that yes it would fall under disability and that I should probably record my upcoming surgery as disability related leave not just sick leave so I don't know I think I'm gonna do that I've asked my manager how he feels about it as well so we'll see <clears throat> but it's an interesting question and if anyone's watching and you have Crohn's or colitis do you consider yourself as disabled like would you declare that I don't know let me know um so I think that's about it sorry it's been a bit rambly um I think I'll probably do a video just before I go into hospital to record how I'm feeling then because I think it'll be different this time. Uh, last time I was like, yay, surgery, can't wait. Like, But this time it's like, oh no, surgery. <laughs> oh no, that's coming up, is it? <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I'll probably do another video to say how I'm feeling and um, I might do like a what's in my hospital bag type video because um, every time I go into hospital I have to like pack certain things because I've learnt through my many hospital stays last year um, and the year before that <clears throat> that some things are vital and um, so I'll probably do like a that type of video just to share what I take into hospital and to record it to myself so future Kate if she has any hospital, uh, more hospital stays um, can watch that and just pack her bag real easy. So yeah that's about it for today and um, see you very soon. Bye!